Hello again, welcome back. We have one win streak, which is more than I've ever had. We have 237 Eden tokens, which means I can fail 237 times uh, to win an Eden streak before it becomes a problem. We started with Mr. Dolly, which is a tears upgrade and 3 HP that we can't really use. But we did start with 3 HP anyway, two of which are Spirit Hearts. So that seems a decent start. Our actual ability to kill things seems also fairly decent. Uh, and one Mr. Small Pill is not a problem at all. We started also with the poop, which makes this basically a blue baby run because we are mostly running on spirit hearts. We have fairly blue baby-ish um, stats, I feel. Although, had we not picked up Mr. Dolly, I suspect our rate of fire would be abysmal. And I somehow managed to beat that room, even though I am god awful at that room. Let's have a look at our other stats. Oh, also, let's start using the seeds. B0HDJF11. Uh, our luck stat isn't all that good. If you want to play along, you just unlock everything and run Eden, and then use whatever it is to input the seed, and then you can input the seed. Nothing there. Play along with me, see if you feel better than I can. Let's find the item room before we fight the boss, because our stats are not that good, but I'm hugely confident. Especially if it turns out to be something like Ragman. Ooh. Hello. No. <laughs> that would be a rookie mistake. Sure. Locust Horns basically precludes us from taking uh, a large number of other tear effects, including Ithacan, unless we get it by re-rolling Locust Horns uh, as a result of re-rolling our entire run. I would like you to blow up several things. Maybe you'll give us enough bombs. I don't really care. Yeah, I'm going to enough bombs. This is probably worthwhile. A question for all you Isaac aficionados out there. Why is it that sometimes the poop outputs no poop when there is no reason for it? Uh, another key, that's probably better actually. Don't mind using both bombs to pick up enough keys to get us at least into the next three item rooms, or even better, maybe a shop or two if we have enough money as a result. It does mean that we can't get into the secret room, which is probably over there next to that other key, so if you're going to trade a bomb for a key, I'd rather do it there rather than trade two bombs for one key uh, as we did earlier. Um, so yeah, sometimes the poop doesn't pay out the poop, and I don't know why. Although I I have a small suspicion, but I'm not entirely sure, that the, um, the poop pops. So you still get what the poop would have given you anyway, it just doesn't show up. I don't know. What's the point in having something as bad as the poop if sometimes it doesn't even work? Huh? Gemini should be a fairly easy fight. No doubt I will get hit at least once, because the Gemini fight is basically required that you get hit at least once by this part of the fight, especially if you are not quite as on the ball as you might need to be. To avoid little dodgy situations like that, it is possible to lock Gemini against the wall. The second Gemini, anyway. And our damage and our DPS is not as good as maybe I'd like to be right now. I did get hit. Um, not enough to lose my entire black heart, so I guess we're okay there. We have enough spirit hearts now that I feel confident at the end of the Right, at the end of the floor that I feel comfortable for the next floor. So let us get that deal with the devil and see where we go from here. We no longer need to worry about not taking deals with the devil. We only need to worry about just the unknown. Ah, it's okay. We just have to keep track. Um, we only have to worry about when the deals with the devil are oh, shit. That's a decent item, actually. The very long list is going to be a source of extra damage for us. We don't control... But we don't really need to. It's not going to hurt us unless it stomps on an exploding enemy right next to us. I guess, but we've got to take the rough with the smooth. And we do have a teleport card, so if we want to, we can go do boss run like we did last time, which is probably why the last run was so long, we did uh, spend that time to do boss rush. Which is kind of worth it, because multi-dimensional baby at the end of it all did turn out to be quite useful, because we could stand still with all of our powerful tears, etc. Uh, and let multi-dimensional baby duplicate the ridiculous amount of damage we were already doing. So it's kind of worth doing boss rush then, but I don't necessarily think it's always worth doing boss rush. It's probably not worth shooting these poops every single time as well, but I am doing it. Get some more money. I'm going to shoot these fires because I'm bad and tend to walk into them. But it's only monsters. I'd be long days helping out by stomping on a jumping monster. This is a monster that constantly barks at you, so expect us to be relying on Daddy Longlegs a lot more. 
while we try and activate it as well, so we can come to shoot We have an Emperor card. The Emperor card will abort Phosphorus, but it won't get us back into the floor. Which is an important consideration with your boss rush dreams. Uh, yes. We can and should take both of these. We haven't even taken damage on this floor. But this one will give us a three spirit hearts that it would otherwise cost, even if it were costing a spirit hearts. I'm just going to leave. There's nothing else on this floor that I really care about. We could buy a spirit heart if we wanted to from the shop. Um, but I'd rather save my keys for future item rooms. And if we can, if we can get out of boss rush into the rest of the floor, that means we can beeline through that particular floor, uh, try and you know, get through it ASAP, and then come back to the floor and do the things that we miss, like the item in the shop, and maybe a curse room, and all the other good stuff that's in there. But if we can't get back into the floor, we have to rethink our strategy there. Um, basically, we have, to do the in we have to be able to do the entirety of the, the, the Death Saw Necropolis 2, and still make it into boss rush without a card that lets us get back into the floor. So that is this card, we have to be able to go back into the thingy. So obviously like a fool card or a hermit card or something. In fact, a hermit card or a stars card is ideal because not only does it let you get back into the floor, but it immediately takes you to the thing that you didn't manage to find when you were looking for when you were trying to get to the boss rush in the first place, i.e. You have a stars card, you can ignore looking for the item room. If you have a hermit card, you can ignore looking for the shop. Plus, you get into that thing for free anyway. So, all in all, those are really the teleport cards that you want. But anything that will make you leave the current room uh, is good enough. I'm doing a silly amount of damage considering. I'm going to give up on using the poop because I'm basically sick of it. Should probably be trying to use our. Uh, that was I'm trying to use our sack dagger here to try and do this down here. I think I will go into the shop for this time. Blank card is worth it. And that card there may also be worth it. Do you know what? We'll take this card. It's awesome. It's two hearts. It's not that much worth it. We might as well keep the Emperor card. I mean, at least blank card Emperor means we can repeatedly cancel rooms, right? Um, I would rather that, that was maybe the Joker card or the stars card or something that produces a little bit more value for picking up the blank card but we can't hold the blank card anymore so whatever uh, apparently this is an xl floor and i've just been you know going help leather on it but whatever bombs coin first i'm probably not going to take any of those pills because at this point a bad trip pill is pretty, pretty bad for it I do want to use Sack Dagger to do more damage because it will speed us up that much more, but at the same time, it's very dangerous to do that. I'm going to keep exploring. I want to find the second item. Either item, Rumor Cater. I mean, don't get heavy, though. Um, Daddy Longlegs is already doing a significant amount of damage for us. Our Tears are doing a significant amount of damage, and, you know, Sack Dagger is basically going to be the item on the cake if we can get Sack Dagger to work without taking too much silly damage of our own. In the first place. Yeah, just like that, well done. We should be able to go sufficiently fast to make it to the bottom, which is what I'm aiming at here. Um, Do you know what? I think we take it. The speed is good, we're kind of slow. Being able to get between rooms a little bit faster will mean that we get to the boss rush a little bit faster. And this being an XL floor means we get through this floor a little bit faster than we would get through the. The, you know, the equivalent to two floors we used to be. And then that, that gives us a really good opportunity to get to the boss on time. Unfortunately, I have backtracked all the way, so now I'm half tempted to actually just... <laughs> okay, I'm thinking of using the Emperor card to get to the other boss fight rather than backtracking throughout this entire floor. Especially considering... Okay, I generally thought Sack Dagger would have dealt with that for me, but I guess for me. Look at Ready to Um, like, I, uh, I'd rather get through it and hope for another teleport card later than... How big is this? Can I go for this? Than, um, waste time backtracking right now. Slowly taking good stuff. Plenty of good stuff there. Look at Ready 
this is not my boss room. Uh, item room. Not even the way to the item room. What am I even doing here? I don't belong here. Uh, obviously, it'll be. What the hell am I doing here? I don't belong here, but. You know, you, you gotta think of things in the right order to be able to say them in the right order. No, it's not what happened. I've, I have come the right way. It is. All is not lost. This is the longest XL floor I've ever had the misfortune of having to do with. Chocolate milk, I will take. Uh, basically, 10 times out of 10. We do have locust horns. Locust horns does not preclude us from taking chocolate milk. Indeed, locust horns probably. If, Chocolate milk probably makes it slightly nicer to take other things with locust horns, like exploded things, because you can completely control when you actually fire. Still going to suggest that maybe we don't do that. I did walk all the way, and I'm not going to take those. It took even more damage from that battle. Oh, wow, that was actually a really good shot. Um, it took even more damage throughout the sport, so I am going to take my damage and range upgrade and leave. Still no new spacebar item. I'm hoping maybe for Guppy's head. I mean, any Guppy item would be good. Is that Dank Dex one? Just hoping it wasn't Dank Dex XL. Agreed. Good. Uh, we did find the item room straight away, so that gives us a little bit of confidence. Got a better chance of actually achieving this floor in a decent amount of time. Um, this is this is all bad. We started off really well, and I think that the items that we do have are good enough to get us through. But I kind of don't want to do that. <coughs> Fortunately, we didn't manage to pick up um, blank card. Now I think about it, now I think about it properly, like a grown up. Ooh. Uh, we should have tried to get another coin or blown up our donation machine with this one bomb that we'd have. Try and get a blank card, but now that we've got um, Book of Relevations, I'm happy not to worry too much about the lack of blank card because Book of Revelations is good enough to be there instead of blank card. If I wasn't going to use a bomb on the previous golden chest, I'm not going to use a bomb on that golden chest. I might use a bomb on this secret room though, depends what's next to it in either direction. Take these. Just stab them. There you go. Saki D, sorting everyone out. Greed. Well, this means greed won't. Oh, we've already seen the shop. <laughs> this means greed won't be in the shop. Uh, yes. We should probably put some more money into the donation machine, and that is a considerable amount, so I might take the time to go back and do that. We do have some time available to us. The super secret room is down there, and we have found the item room, so that gives us an indication that uh, that isn't the shop, so what are you doing? It gives us an indication that perhaps the. Uh, Boss is this way. <laughs> Could use a snack dagger. And even if we don't find the shop on this floor, we have at least got one more shop that may not have another greed in it. So we can still donate. There are other ways of donating. Some other. Ow! Totally got caught in a rush. Some other rooms also have uh, donation machines. I will explode these, even though we have. Uh, the thing that lets us. Here's a shot. We have the Book of Revelations here, which obviously gives us Spirit Heart anyway, but it was worth trying and it did pay out. So I'm just going to donate as much as I can. That's me there. Because. Why not? I mean, previously we have taken quite a lot of money out of it in order to try and make these runs work. And now that we're in a position where we don't need the money, we don't need to buy any of these things, I'm just going to put it all in. Maybe save like 5 cents. Uh, I don't even care about an arcade now, I think about it. We don't have any red hearts to give away. It did let us donate all of it and still didn't break. So I believe there's a luck upgrade associated with putting enough money in the donation machine in a particular run. We could try and get into there, but I really don't think it would work. The effort. There we go. And this is, if I didn't know that was a super secret room, I would probably already have known that was in the secret room. Okay. Pandora's box. On this floor is mm, Spirit Hearts? It is Spirit Hearts. Which is worth it because obviously Book of Revelations is also Spirit Hearts, so basically we just fast tracks. Fast track that particular. Ooh, hello. You're a grey one that needs to shoot. 
ta-da! Right. Here's the way to the boss, so at least we got that right. Two of clubs. Two of clubs. Two. two bombs. I don't really care um, about trying to minimize that at all. There is a... seems to drop here. Please drop. Open for a small up. There's not to be. Also... Also, I didn't need to use the bomb. Also, also, since when can that fire shoot across that rock? Look at that. Oh, well, now it's shooting out that rock. It's shooting across that rock before. Don't, don't. Go back and look at the video. I'm recording this so that I can prove it. Not because I want people to watch it. Quite honestly, the reason I'm recording these things is not because I wanted people to watch them, but because I kept having awesome runs. Not on video. So I thought, you know what? I'm gonna have awesome runs actually on video. Yeah, we'll do this and we will not oh, no, Thank you. Um, we will not abandon it with the Emperor card, because the Emperor card will lock us into boss. Rush. Not only will it lock us into the boss rush, but it'll lock us into the boss room. So we have to do boss rush. And we'll have to do the boss room. So how do you do this? You go up here. You go down here. You wait basically on that route. It's tempting to go in there and try and deal with it. Oh, that was a good shot. Try and deal with it ASAP, but that's not the right way. Ultra on head is good. I would rather use my guaranteed HP if you don't mind. Yeah, let's try this. If we can get this rock, that chest, and the secret room out of this, that'll be stupendous. We've got a key, which wasn't really useful. But I was gonna say maybe we can do a hush. This isn't a hush run. But there are no hush runs as far as I'm concerned. Hush is an optional boss and a massive pain in the ass. So, probably never going to do it. Sometimes I may do it if I feel like we can get some decent stuff out of the hush shop and that hush is going to go down fast. Uh, like your mama. But, you know, the, the chances of that are pretty, pretty low. We have to have an amazing run. Maybe like a Ludo Brimstone Tech X. I don't know. Tech everything. We can't take the pills now. Speed up is helpful. A couple more cards. I thought I'd spend the Spirit Heart on this room because we have so many, and we've got a guaranteed source of them, which is what we needed Two yesterday. Of spades. Let's discard. Probably should use that one first. <laughs> Whatever. I mean, it's much of a muchness right now. I'm fairly tempted to say this one, this run is one. There are things that could go wrong, including my play, but I, I don't think it's that likely. Awa's room. It can for boss rush. I'm gonna use it Trapdoor with a ladder. Brilliant. Because even if you went down the trapdoor with a ladder, yeah, I would like the callus actually. Even if you went down the trapdoor with a ladder, it would stop boss rush, which is the idea, and it wouldn't have any other uh, advantages or disadvantages compared to this, this uh, emperor card that we do have, because it would still keep us stuck in the boss room. So. Which we still have to find, by the way. Find the item room yet? No. Uh, I'm glad to have the callus because it means rooms like that one we just did with the spikes on the ground are. they mean nothing to us over Vienna. Because you can just walk on the spikes. Um, similarly. <laughs> okay, thank you. Wow. Yeah, let's get a little bit smaller. Let's go crazy with this. Ah, concentrating, can't talk. Similarly, uh, creep and things, they mean nothing to as well. So, Callus is a, a very decent trinket in my estimation. It doesn't beat things like maybe the curve form damage. And in this very specific situation, it's possible. To oh, fuck. <laughs> so, this is how Loki's horns ends up screwing us over. Well, don't got any money, so never mind. <laughs> what, are, what are the chances of that? Um, in this very specific situation, I don't think the cancer trick is any good for us. How do we do this? I don't know. Use our orb. Just don't fire. Ever. Stop walking into things. Your hitbox apparently is the same size, even though you are like, not even visible right now. We'd. Uh, I guess you go for one, right? Void Rage is pretty good, actually. Speed upgrade is the good. Emperor. Wouldn't mind a six room now to re-roll my entire run, or just a one room. Uh, I'm not happy with my loadout, and this has happened before. Epic Fetus will show up 
and ruin your run on the Curse of the Blind Floor. So, don't think it won't. But at least we have um, Callus. Callus will assist us in not taking damage. Stupid even walking on creep whilst trying to avoid our own bombs or spikes on similar things. So that is at least a distinct advantage. And it's a distinct advantage in this situation rather than just a, a general advantage. Because you need the maneuverability to have epic beaters work uh, properly. Also, we do have alternative sources of damage, so we don't have to rely on epic beaters, but we are going to. We could stack dagger everything. I think I'll open this because that's a lot of. Yeah, good idea. Open both of them because we're so fast. Yeah, not for a. Not bosses for a sack? No. For example, this is not a good idea to try and use that dagger here because they will quite quickly hit you. At least we can infinitely try out. Full health. I'm One fuck it. Makes smaller. Small. I ain't small enough already. Sack dagger rescued me. Rescue me! Not a secret room. Uh. Yep. At least we can find a secret room, and it is entirely free to do so. And. We're hitting ourselves not often enough that I'm concerned by the ability of Book of Revelations there to actually keep up with the damage that we're taking. So that's pretty positive as well. I think the most of the damage that we will be taking will be from enemies that we're trying to avoid whilst trying to dodge our own shots. So it means it's much of a muchness whether the enemy or excuse me, whether the enemy or ourselves hit us. We've got permanent Polaroid invincibility as a result of having no red HP, which is something I hadn't considered until it just happened. Uh, I don't think I want this enemy's payout. If that's okay. But we did get a deal with the devil, and the game didn't really know what to do just now, which, is which gives us Hora Babylon, which I honestly. With Epic Fetus, Horror of Babylon has no effect, it just makes us faster. I mean, it, it improves the damage of our things, but... I think we do take Headless Baby. <clears throat> now hear me out on this, it's a terrible idea and don't do this at home. You know, this is being done by trained professionals, but... I don't want to be any faster, I'm pretty fast and I don't like it. We don't need to be any stronger because most of our <laughs> explosions are so strong that it doesn't matter how much stronger they become. But, we are heavily relying on alternative sources of damage in order to not hit ourselves as much as possible. In order to, you know, as much as possible to avoid hitting ourselves. Not happening. Which is why I would like Guppy's head. But, what do you do here? <laughs> um, it costs us three spirit hearts, but we will get those back. Or at least we will you know, pay for them some other way. All we need to do is a proper dodge three times and we've earned our three spirit hearts back. To take creep. And obviously a creep is not sent to source of damage. We just need to run away from many enemies to get into get damage from our creep. That was I do for example. I fail to because I don't know how fast I am compared to them. Hey was Black Market? Nope. Bacano is what? Straight away. A was black man. A was. Nope. Answers. Answers. That actually really helps because I was going completely the wrong way and become back. We used all of those runes, which is fine. I am happy to have used all of those runes. And there's a chest room, but it's not a reroll room. So it could be worth going to. There is also a boss trap room. I'm gonna try it. What? Oh, okay, but Carlin probably got that for us. Uh, it does have well, we can get these out. Spirit Hearts is a good thing to start with. It could have had many things in it. Including Guppy items, I guess. Uh, but this one I've forgotten about, but it's here. And we can get all of its chests, and we can run away if they pay out something scary. Flies is fine. Flies is one of the reasons I would like a Guppy item. This is not fine, but at least we uh, didn't pay for it too hard. Finding it pretty difficult to actually hit these chests without 
um, stepping on the spikes. Yeah, that was a pretty bad haul, but you know, you, you, we, okay, it wasn't a bad haul. We got several spirit hearts. What happened there? Ah, uh, after it, but you know, kind of paid for headless baby, and now we basically paid for headless baby because we have as much HP as we had. But we took headless baby, so that's good. I'm scared. <laughs> Not quite sure how to deal with this room. Yeah, take the battery straight away. Get as many spirit hearts as you can. We're about to do a fairly difficult fight. Use permanent Polaroid events. If you're going to get hit there, you might as well make the body the best of it, right? I think we hit ourselves as well. I mean, that's another one of those basically impossible rooms. Because you have to time the spikes, the dropping of your explosion bomb thing, and the the disappearance of the poops, which obviously respawn because they're red poops before you finish the room. Basically, you have no chance in that room either. Certain rooms have no room for... Do you know what? We had the callus all this time, and I forgot. So here's me going, we really need to make sure we don't step on these spikes, and we totally could. That's kind of okay. I mean, it's good practice not to step on spikes. But at the same time, I was unnecessarily worried. And you're probably all going, why are you spending all this time on these red chests? Just walk over the spikes, you jackass. So you spend all that time talking about how good the callus is. Yeah, I'm not sure. You can't make me. All that time telling me how good the callus is, and then you don't even use it to its advantage. Anything in here? No. If this was the chest, that would be great, because they would contain items. Wouldn't mind finding out if there's a reroll room on this floor, because I would like to never have Epic Fetus again. Nerf. But we're doing okay. I mean, on the cathedral now, at least we don't have to worry too much about rooms that artificially impede our maneuverability. The main, okay. uh, the main problem with it Although I am basically artificially using my own maneuverability right now. And it being the cathedral, not the chest, we can just leave any room we don't want to do. Especially if it's large enough to get out of the way. The chest rooms basically don't have so many holes and bullshit in them like all the other places. They're often just these fairly square rooms and then... Okay. I have identified a problem and now I am going to make steps to fix it. Uh, in my self-performance review that I do actually, I have discovered that after I've finished a room, I you know, start pressing the direction keys again to fire again. It's a bad idea, because it then immediately creates an explosion, but then I let go of the button, because I'm thinking, oh, it's a room. So I, like that. So I put down a, okay, that's not what's happening. I've re-evaluated what's happening. I decide that I don't need my explosion anymore. Yay. So I let go of the button, which puts a crosshair right next to me. Which is not where a crosshair needs to be if it's going to cause an airstrike to land on that position. So when a room finishes, I need to make sure that I'm not you know, leaving an awesome airstrike. What do I do here? Right next to me. And that's what's been happening. I've been leaving an orphaned airstrike that I'm not paying attention to right next to me. I bet I could fit between those with this size. And then that's been landing on me and I'm just taking damage. So stop doing that. Recognize that you're doing that. Desist doing that. And you'll survive this epic piece of stuff. If you're going to keep spawning those in the same place, I'm going to be very happy. Okay, we've done that. Onto the chest. Hopefully we can get through the chest without too much self-damage, because hitting yourself... Oh, you bastard. Hitting yourself while... Uh, avoiding bosses is much easier, basically. Host hat... Uh, never mind. He <laughs> picked up host hat. We have won this game. We cannot hurt ourselves. Enemies can still hurt us. We can't heal ourselves, but we have one of every six rooms we get a paralysis that we get a, uh, a spirit hunt, so 
Our explosions cannot hurt ourselves. I don't need to worry about the things that I just spent 20 minutes trying to explain. And our explosions do, of course, do all the damage. And those things follow us, basically completely justifying me having taken Pepper's Baby all that time ago. Wait, where's the going to See that guy disappear and then try and attack me? I think that's the higher prudence. Emperor. Magician is not going to help here. Actually, to make that big piece, it's even harder to deal with. But. At least we can't hurt ourselves. I have to stand next to these enemies and drop bombs on them if I so desire. I do not desire. But I will use my sack dagger. Sweet! I dropped a bomb on myself to test, apparently. And. Fine. And if you're going to accidentally walk into enemies and use to get permanent folder in the middle, then you might as well make use of that permanent folder in the middle to be able to Sack Dagger to do more damage. Sack Dagger is still probably our strongest damage dealer, not because it's actually a huge amount of damage, which it is, but it's way more consistent. It's just extremely difficult to deal with without hurting yourself. You find a secret. It's greed. Super greed, of course. Why not? <clears throat> I mean, look how much damage we just did to Super Creed. As long as we can actually hit the enemies with our Epic Fetus, we're good. The problem with Epic Fetus is that's pretty difficult. It can be difficult. Because, especially with teleporting enemies such as this one, or like highly maneuverable enemies like that here, okay, we don't have much chance. Let's go this way because it's further away from the exit. Level. That much more likely to actually be the way to the boss. We want to get this done with. It's a 28 minute run so far, which is pretty good, and most of that. It's because Epic Feasts suddenly made it extremely difficult to actually hit things. Oh, it's the way to the boss, pretty. Uh, somehow I dodged around the green shot twice. And I am giving away from my own bombs, not because of being scared of hurting myself, but because that's where the enemies are. Good thinking. Uh, there is no secret room next to the boss. We will use Sack Dagger to end this. With. Yeah, it does actually have those um, neutral spikes. What caused there to be chocolate milk shots just now? Did you see that at the end? The chocolate milk shots? Ah, I'll tell you what it was. Host hat when I took damage fired. That was really good. That's two wins in a row doing Eden wins, so I'm pretty happy with that, and I hope you enjoyed these runs. That was a nice, fairly quick one. So. Again, we're going to keep doing this until Afterbirth Plus comes out, and I really appreciate everybody watching and hanging out. So. I'll see you in the next one.